First stuff, when we're breaking news alerts, make sure to subscribe to Stock Abilities in the bottom right there, but we're going to jump right into it. That Comcast down a negative 1.2% as UBS sees investments weighing growth. Uh, it's down 1.2% pre-market after it cut to neutral at UBS. The firm expects a drag from capital issues weighing on growth in cable. We see 2020 as an investment year with increased capex, investment in Peacock Sky, and other working capital drags causing a decline in free cash flow. And then in the 2020, and it's 12.9 billion versus the 13.9 billion amid the new investments. And they have a price target. They're still implying that it's, you know, it's going to go up. So it's going to go silly price tag target. But, uh, you know, that's upgrades and downgrades. Uh, if anything, I see it as an almost perfect entry for a swing based on its current uptrend and the fact that it's held this kind of baseline pretty well in the recent weeks and months. I mean, you might see a little bit more of a steeper drop to 43, but I mean, as a swing potential, potential, I could see this going a little bit higher. I mean, it's near its all-time highs now, and it sounds silly that it's going to go higher, but, you know, it, as long as it doesn't break this 43, 44 line, I don't see why it wouldn't. I feel maybe a little bit more dip into Monday for the global market news, but, you know, on a year-to-year, -year, it's been going up pretty much since 2011, so I would take any dip that you can get, and, you know, the likelihood that you're going to get in the crash aspect of it is very slim. Something to keep in mind, obviously, it's Comcast and it's cable-related stuff, but they're kind of branching out on other things, so that is something to consider into next week with all the tech earnings and everything, and the timing of which I honestly feel that it's going to be going up rather than more down, but we'll see what happens. Have a nice day.